Hi, this is Janine. I just wanted to show you a garment that I made a couple of weeks ago. This is Simplicity 8556, uh, which is a separate pattern. It has jacket, pants, I think a skirt, and then it has a tunic. Um, I made the tunic. It's a very simple tunic, just with a bound neckline, set in sleeves, it's got darts, it's got a shirt tail hem, and then in the back there's a yoke and a single pleat. So it's a fairly basic top for work, which is exactly what I wanted. I made this top out of, what did Fabric Mart call it? Solid Vintage Soft Shiramin Crepe. Um, the, I love the way the fabric feels and the way it drapes. It wasn't a great deal of fun to sew because I didn't want to mark it with a pen thinking that it would be permanently marked. And then the fabric didn't want to hold threads very well for tailor tacking. So I kind of had to guess with or use pin marks for things like bust. So there was a lot of unpicking with this. But now that it's done, I am happy with it. Um, it's certainly something I'll wear to work. Um, you know, it can be worn year round. It's a very soft fabric. As you can see, it's kind of translucent. You can see my navy pants underneath. When I wear it to work, I'll probably wear it with a camisole or something like that. But, you know, I think it's um, a good basic top. So I decided I wanted to add sleeve ties and I didn't have a pattern. So I just, I sat for a while and drew different drawings of how I could do a sleeve tie. I tried to find patterns. I asked a few people on pattern review and I got a couple of ideas. Then I just decided to do what made sense to me, which was truly just adding a cuff, making it narrow and adding extra long butt ends for the cuff. So what I did is I first cut a slash on the opposite edge from the seam and I cut a slash three inches long. Then I finished that by simply just folding over the fabric twice and stitching it. I tried adding a binding, but it made it really bulky. So I stitched the tie on right side, just as you would a cuff. Then I flipped the tie right side together, finished off the ties with a little bit of a fold at the end, turned those right side out, and then just hand stitched the edge of the cuff. So truly, it's just a long cuff. I can't quite tie them when it's on, or I can't tie them as neatly, but uh, I think it's kind of a nice feature and it's dressed up this top a fair bit. So that is Simplicity 8556. And uh, I'm kind of pleased with this. I'll probably wear it a lot in the fall. Good work shirt. I forgot to mention that I've got more information and a lot of pictures of making the cuff on my blog. If you want to take a look, if you're thinking of trying something, or if you want to tell me a better way to do it, uh, my blog address is www.lifeofjanine.com. So the other thing I'm working on is my first fitted jacket. I picked two jacket patterns that I'm starting on this month. The first one I have attempted is Lisette or butter at 6493. And I'm going to make this out of a jacquard. Diamond jacquard. So I'm actually behaving like a grown-up sewer and I have made a 12 out of muslin. I know it's not the right fabric and it's too light, but this is what I had. So um, it fit fairly good right out of the pattern envelope. Um, pattern has cup sizing, which really helps. I measured everything in advance. So it's not so bad. Um, this pattern has raglan sleeves, princess seams, and there is a single closure right here. So the first thing I did was I moved the shoulders because I've got narrow shoulders and I thought raglan sleeves would be easier to fit than set in sleeves and apparently I was wrong. These were just horrible when I first put this on. The sleeve size is massive 
The finished pattern measurement for the bicep is 19 inches. My bicep is 13 and a half inches. Six inches plus of ease is too much in a jacket. So the first thing I did is I moved up the shoulder head and then I narrowed the sleeves. And I raised the right shoulder because my right shoulder is lower than my left. And all of that, you know, it's hard to tell in muslin, but I think the back is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the back. What I'm not happy with is the sleeves. I don't even know how a raglan sleeve is supposed to fit. Um, on the pattern envelope, if you look closely, there is a crease right here on her finished jacket. I know that pattern envelopes don't always accurately represent the garment. That there are times when we make things that fit better than the pattern envelope pictures. So I don't feel confident that that's the way the raglan sleeve is supposed to fit. If that's how they're supposed to fit, then I'm golden. I'm in really good shape because I do have a little crease there and the crease is where my body creases. But as it is, I'm not sure if I'm thrilled with this. I mean, I might really like it in the fashion fabric, but I'm just not sure. Um, it's not a hugely complicated jacket. Just have to add some interfacing and line it. Um, so I, I can probably have it done in a couple of evenings, but I'm just not sure that I'm gonna like it. And do I really want to spend my precious sewing time making something that I'm not sure I want to like? So, uh, what do you think? Impressions, ideas, opinions. Is this going to just look bad or is it going to look all right when I get it into a fabric that has some oomph? I would love to hear what you think. I think I'm going to let that jacket sit for a few days and think about it. In the meantime, if you look at this and you see that and you have a suggestion for me for how I can make it fit better, if you have an idea how a raglan sleeve jacket should actually fit, please post. Um, and if you look at it and you say that is never going to fit you right, it doesn't suit you, then I would love to hear that too because I would much rather waste a yard and a half of muslin than the fashion fabric. What else is going on? The last couple of days, it's been a little bit cooler here and I've swept a few leaves off the front porch. I might be in the south, but autumn's coming. So I'm starting to look at some of the cooler, we cooler fabric, cooler weather fabric that's in my closet. There are two pieces of stretch velvet. There's some jacquard, there's a wool, there's a silk, I think it's a silk boucle got a sweater knit. There's a bunch of stuff that's just screaming to be made up for cooler weather. So I'm going to start thinking of those things and then it's also time to think about Christmas. It might only be the middle of August but it's going to be time to mail Christmas presents before I know it. So I've got to get working on some little gifts. Um, that's it for my August. I would love to hear about your August sewing plans. Um, if you want to check out my blog, I'm gonna have a couple of other projects on there that I'm not posting here on my vlog. Um, but otherwise, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope to see you again soon.